اوكي اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم اوكي بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته جميعا God's blessings and mercy upon you all my human brothers and sisters Today I'm going to share with you a video an amazing video of two parts about the authentic Islamic slaughter procedure on lambs and goats On the first video we're going to illustrate the power of God's name as the only method of submission before slaughter On the um, second video we're going to show you the authentic Islam, the complete authentic Islamic slaughter procedure only using God's name upon slaughter. Exactly the same way the, all the prophets have done for thousands of years. Abraham, Noah, Moses, Jesus and Muhammad, peace upon all of them. Not using stun guns or hammers or any other equipments, electrical equipments, only using simply only using God's name upon slaughter. Before we proceed, I would like to mention that all the scriptures, Torah, Bible, and Quran, has been preaching of one God. He is the, he is the only creator of all creations, and He is the one that worthy of being worshipped and thanked by all His creations. And He also created lambs and goats as a blessing for humans for the purpose of food and clothing. Uh, the scriptures also preaches about a humane treat treatment of animals. And as a humans, we only have the right to slaughter them in God's name, to be mentioned before slaughter. God's name can be mentioned in different languages and it will have the same effect. You can say God's name in English, Arabic, Hebrew, French, Chinese, as long as the slaughter have a strong faith in the word itself and of the Creator and mention it, it will have the same effect and the same submission effect of the animals. It's an amazing word and it will have the same effect in different languages. These animals are bilingual and they all know God's name when it's mentioned, no matter what language. And they always feel the heart of the slaughterer if he believes in that word or he doesn't. Once the belief is there, the faith is there, and the word is mentioned, it's guaranteed a fiqh and a guaranteed submission. La ilaha illallah. Allahu Akbar. We're going to take these animals, run them inside as a group. We're not going to separate an animal from each other. Um, every animal, every creation would like to have a partner, except the Almighty Lord. So to really maintain these animals to be calm, you always have to, tra to make them travel with a group. You don't separate anyone from the other. Definitely not one by himself. That would really make him very tense. It has to be two or more, minimum. Okay, what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the, uh, the mamas, we're gonna bring him over here, and we're gonna make him submit uh, on the ground over here. Bismillah, Allah. 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 This is total submission. Total submission. This guy is ready for anything to be done to him. And he's not nervous, he's not resisting. He's in total relaxation. No panic hormones whatsoever. See, I let him go, he gets up. Abdul Wahid, you want to do them? No, you need to show to a skeptical person. Bismillah. Allah. It's okay, baby. It's okay. I'm not doing anything yet. Bismillah. Allahu Akbar. Okay. It's okay, baby. Same reaction. They all react the same. The power of the word. They're more religious than most humans. Yeah, Allahu Akbar. 
Total submission. These guys had a little, uh, they come from a bigger ranchers, so they're a little bit wild. They're not used to uh, be touched and handled by humans. And uh, for them to turn around and just lay down like, really in total peace. Answering the calling, definitely. The power of the word gets clearer and clearer after, after you see more and more submit. Probably some of you are wondering by now about the Arabic words that I use that makes the animals submit the way they did. The first uh, uh, term we use, and this is really uh, the authentic uh, uh, procedure, one of the terms of authentic procedure that is being mentioned in the scripture, is in the name of God the greatest, which is Bismillah, Allahu Akbar. There's another prayer that I usually use, and it's my favorite prayer and my animal's favorite prayer. It says, Bismillah, alladhi la yadurru ma'ismihi shay'un fil ardi wa la fil samai wa huwa sami'u alim. The beauty of this prayer really shows some of the power of the word itself. It says, In the name of God, who is with his name, no harm will come, not, neither in this earth nor in the skies. And he is the one that hears and listens, and he is the most knowledgeable. This is really a wonderful prayer. Uh, it, it really is very effective and I will illustrate the power of it as we go on part two also. In the auction, when we bought them from our rancher, it weighed over 300 pounds. And it's usually gonna weigh more now because he was fed and he's been having fun, eating alfalfa and everything. He's probably 10 pounds larger than what it was in the auction. I weigh 190 pounds. So any dealing with this guy, he has to help out, otherwise, there's no chance anybody can really restrain him or force him to do anything that he doesn't want to do. He's going to do exactly what he instantly wants to do. So if this guy submit, the power of the word is clear. This is a 300 pound animal. For me to drop him down on the floor for, to start submission, it's almost impossible for one person to do it. I'm going to ask Abdul Wahid to help out for the initial submission and then he's gonna withdraw and the animal's gonna respond by himself.
I'm putting only a finger on the ear and this guy if he wants to get up I don't think any anybody is capable to get him back down except two people as strong as me and Abdul Wahid to be able to submit this animal on the floor but now he's totally answering the calling and he's happy with it there's no breathing hard if you know this the lungs is not breathing hard He's in total submission. Close again, there you go. Before you make a new carriage, 